something. Yes, hallelujah. And the Bible says to look up. Praise God, because that's where our help comes from. Amen. He says, of my God afar off or my God at hand? And the answer to that is he is a God at hand. And the Bible says he's a present help in trouble. Do you have trouble in your life today? God is a present help in trouble. He's right there. Jesus said, Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us, but he'll go all the way to the end of the world with us. Praise God. And I'll tell you something. When he goes all the way to the end of the world with you, then where are you going to be at the end of the world? You're going to be right in his arms. Hallelujah. Right in his arms. You know what? He didn't promise us a bed of roses. And yes, troubles come sometime. But I'll tell you what. If you've got the broken heart mender inside of you, amen. You can have victory in every situation, victory in every trouble that comes along. If you'll walk in his word, if you'll give him importance in your life, make Jesus important in your life. Put him, and that's what we mean when we say put him first place in your life. Make him the most important person in your life. Make the Bible the most, his word, the most important thing in your life. Let it carry weight in your life. And you know what? A lot of people just, you know, they read their Bibles and stuff. And, and, and bless their hearts, they, it's really a lack of knowledge. But they'll just say, well, I've read my chapter for today. You know, or I've read the Bible through in six months or whatever, or a year, or whatever. But you know what? Let me tell you something. You read it and read it slow. Read it verse by verse. Meditate on it. Say, Lord, what do you want me to have out of this verse? What do you want me what do you want to reveal to me out of this verse today? See, that it's life. You read that word and get it on the inside of you and read it out loud. And it'll give you life. The Word is alive. It's, it's a live thing. It, it's, it works. I mean, it's, and it'll work in your life. The Word of God is alive. It's a living thing. Praise God. The Bible calls it, uh, says it's a, a thoughts. Uh, uh, it, the th- it knows the thoughts of the mind and the intents of the heart. It discerns the thoughts of the mind and the intents of the heart. Praise God, that's, a, that's, that's the word. It's quick and powerful, just like a two-edged sword. You know what? It cuts going in, and it cuts going out. Hallelujah. And it, it'll cut all the doubt and unbelief out of you. Praise God, it'll cut the bad stuff out of you. If there's any bad stuff in you, any old habits and stuff that you need to get rid of, it'll cut them out of you when you get into the Word. Praise God, hallelujah, you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. You know what Jesus told the disciples? He told the Jews, which believed, and I think it's Luke chapter 8, or John chapter 8, either one of those chapters. He said, he was talking to the Jews which believed. He said, now these, keep in mind, these Jews believed. He said, if you continue in my word, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you continue in my word, I can't express to you today how important that word is. Praise God. I can't, I can't express it enough to you how important it is to get into the word. Shut the world out. Get into the word. Praise God. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it. Say, Holy Spirit, reveal your word to me today. And you know what? You'll find yourself, you'll find things getting better and better and better. The more, the more you get into his word, the more you draw near to him. The Bible says draw near to God and he'll draw nigh to you. Draw near to him and he'll draw near to you. Amen. The closer you get to him, the closer he gets to you. Establish a relationship with him. You know what? If you was married, you know, and you... You just talk to your wife every, every week or something, or when you needed something, you know, something like that. You wouldn't have any relationship, you know. Your wife would probably tell you, go do it yourself. <laughs> you know, your mom and dad, if you just talk to them once a week or once a month, just when you need something, you know, like when you need to borrow the money or you need to borrow the car or something like that, you don't have a relationship. 
you establish a relationship with your Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, hallelujah. And, and let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. Let God's Spirit dwell on the inside of you. Very important. Detrimental for the Holy Ghost to walk in the Spirit, praise God. It's detrimental, hallelujah, to your life. You have no power if the Spirit dwells in you. The Bible says without the Spirit, you're none of His. Hallelujah. You are none of His without the Spirit today. I'm going to ask my husband to come forth just in a few minutes and bring the Word of God Amen. forth to you. And I want you to pay attention to it because God has revealed some fantastic things to him. I'll tell you what. And just pay attention. Listen. Listen to the Word. Don't look at the messenger. Listen to the message. Praise God. Amen, Brother Jonathan. You know what? Because in, on TV sometimes we tend to, we see people and, you know, and we look how they're dressed or look the way their hair is fixed and if their hair is sticking up or something like that. kind of distracts us, you know, on TV. <laughs> but you know what? Listen intently. Ask God. Say, Lord, give me ears to hear. Give me ears to hear what the Spirit's saying to me. Because it's important. It's important. The, the Holy Spirit.